Sometimes researchers ask what they should actually show when they publish their result. Should they show a confidence interval or should they show a p-value? And in my opinion, the answer is very simple. It's very clear. Please show both because confidence interval and a p-value actually show two very different thing, things. Let's just simply recap what these two things are. A p-value is... Uh, can best be visualized as the probability that we get the observed result or an even more extreme one if we assume the null hypothesis is correct. So for p-value, the p-value is a decision tool. Decision tool. And based on the sample results based on results from the sample that we have from sample from our observation from our data we make a decision whether a predefined predefined uh, null hypothesis null hypothesis should be accepted or not accepted or not however a confidence interval actually is a tool that allows us to calculate a range based on our sample statistic a range in which we believe the true population mean from which the sample is actually taken is located. So if we are looking for uh, a sample mean, we can calculate a confidence interval here. And we say that we are pretty sure that within this confidence interval, somewhere the true mean of our population is located. So we basically make a prediction from our sample about um, our wider population. This is not something that the p-value does. The p-value gives a numerical decision, a basically a binary decision, yes or no. Should we accept the null hypothesis or not based on the observations that we make? This is the p-value. The confidence interval shows something totally different. It shows us basically where we believe the true population mean or true population parameter is located based on our sample. It doesn't uh, give us a decision tool here like the p-value. So if in doubt, I would suggest always uh, publish or show both your confidence interval and the p-value. As I said, they show very different things. P-value is very easy to understand in that it says, yes, we should accept an null hypothesis. There is no difference between samples or between the underlying populations from which we have taken the samples. The confidence interval actually tells us where we believe are the population means for the populations from which we have drawn the samples. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.